love them or you hate them. There is no in between. I have a weird fascination with sharks. You know, I love hate relationship even. Sharks captivate me, but I'm not entirely fond of them. And recently I've been asking myself, why is that? And I am far from alone when it comes to this mindset. I'm not afraid of sharks, but I don't want to be near them. You know what I mean? Maybe that is a fear then. I do want to swim with sharks, as weird as that may sound, coming from someone who just said they don't want to be near them, but I don't believe I fear them enough to the point where I'd classify it as a phobia. Some people do possess this intense and irrational fear of sharks. It is known as galeophobia. Galeos being the Greek word for shark, and as you can deduce, phobos being the Greek word for little bitch. The fear of sharks is a surprisingly common fear, with 51% of Americans admitting to the fact that they themselves fear sharks, with 38% stating that because of sharks they are afraid to swim in the ocean. That's 4 in 10 Americans. Do I stay on top of the boat and get electrocuted, or do I jump over by the shark and not get electrocuted? I'll take electrocution every single time. What is a shark? Well, it's a big fish. A big fish with a cartilage skeleton which dissolves down after death, only leaving their teeth behind. These puppies don't have bones. Puppies, because sharks were referred to as sea dogs by ancient marinas, and baby sharks are called pups. Baby shark had it wrong. The anatomy of a shark is really something else. They have the whole kit and caboodle. Gills, dorsal fins, eyes, more fins, a nose you can punch to make them buzz off. Or can you? We'll talk about this a little bit later. Teeth. They're incredible creatures. It's hard to deny the fact that these elasmobranchs look scary. They just look scary. And not just their face with their soulless eyes. Have you seen the underside of a shark? Look at the belly of this great white. Tell me that's not scary. Flip that upside down. It looks like the face of a demonic jester. And look at this one. And this. This. And this. Another aspect which makes sharks so scary is just how silent the ocean is. Sure, you can watch nature documentaries with music to set the mood and sound effects, little under the sea, Mr. Crab's walk and pistol shrimps shooting by sound effects, but out there in reality, it's pretty still. It's desolate, vast, and cold. And your legs are just floating there. Something lurks beneath the water's surface. Let's get to the burning question. Should you be afraid of sharks? Let's break it down. Jaws. Of course, we're going to talk about Jaws. You can't delve into the modern fear of sharks without talking about Jaws. That's like having Mr. Brightside come on in a pub without some drunk white bloke yelling out, Oh, tune! It's just not possible. Jaws was a cultural phenomenon. For better or worse, it really pulled sharks into the public consciousness. I'd say for worse. Jaws was a literal blockbuster, with people lining up around the block not only to see the film, but to see it again and again. Everything in the film painted the apex predator as an unstoppable killing machine, and directly caused an increase in not only the general fear of sharks, but our hostile approach towards these beasts. Scientists even referred to this increase of fear around sharks as the Jaws effect. The author of the novel Jaws, Peter Benchley, even later expressed his regret at writing the book due to his exasperation of an already present fear surrounding sharks, contributing to the false beliefs that many of us hold today. But that's not to say that it's entirely Jaws' fault. Even if the increase of shark culling was a direct result of Jaws. Great movie though. There have been numerous pieces of media involving sharks which has contributed to this skewed representation. Deep Blue Sea, The Shallows, The Reef, Shark Tale, dare I mention The Meg, <laughs> Nemo <laughs> me up as a kid. Specifically the video game, that part where you had to swim away from Bruce. No thanks. Sharks in video games also stress me out. Far Cry 3, Stranded Deep, even in Grand Theft Auto I feel uneasy. <laughs> I think it's that loss of fluidity that happens when you enter the water. You can no longer control the character as smoothly as it gets rigidy. Is that a word? Rigid? Rigidity? Meanwhile, the sharks are so smooth and can swim up and get you at any time. Honestly, I think that these games emulate the experience of swimming in a shark's domain pretty well. In real life, you're at a disadvantage because you could be Michael Phelps and a shark would still be the better swimmer. We weren't made for the ocean. Our time in the ocean has come and it has passed. These pieces of media, they did not create this fear of sharks. They just exacerbated things. There has always been a stigma surrounding sharks. There was a pre-modern fear about sharks. Sharks are older than trees. They're estimated to be about 450 million years old. In that time, eh, a couple of bad stories are bound to crop up. There could have been some gnarly stories the dinosaurs had about sharks. We'll never know. Maybe they got to fight the Meg. Sharks have survived five extinction events. Here's to many more. Resilient little buggers, like cockroaches of the sea. There was an unfortunate incident, which occurred in 1916, where maybe, just maybe, a couple of sharks sort of attacked some people within the span of 12 days along the Jersey Shore, and maybe four people died. But yes, that did happen. There was an abundance of people in the water due to a heat wave and a polio epidemic at the time, and some sharks got a little snappy. 
Incidents like this definitely do not help the consensus surrounding sharks. But this kind of thing is extremely rare. In fact, on average, there's only an estimated four shark-related fatalities per year. This was just a series of unfortunate events. Look away, look away. Further back into history, sometimes when you're at sea for months on end, there's not a whole lot going on to keep you entertained. You can only play Liar's Die so many times. So stories and legends end up running rampant as bored sailors try to be occupied in these simpler times. Many marinas, even as far back as ancient marinas, feared these sea dogs as monsters responsible for the lost souls at sea. I think some of those lost souls probably just couldn't swim. But many cultures held sharks to a different standard. In Hawaii, sharks are regarded as Aumakua, which to my understanding is the reincarnation of an ancestor believed to guide and protect their family members. In Maori culture, it was believed that a demigod put a shark into the sky after defeating it, thus creating the Milky Way. It's pretty f cool, honestly. Even World War fighter planes had sharks painted on the side for intimidation, but mainly just kind of for pizzazz. Thanks, flying tigers. Not far from legends and tales, rumors are spawned. Thus, there are many myths and misconceptions in relation to sharks. The most common misconception about sharks is that sharks kill and eat people. Well, yes, sharks have killed and potentially eaten at least parts of people in the past, but it's never been their aim, their end game. It's like a vegan eating a meal they were made to believe was vegan, only to find out that it was vegetarian and had non-vegan cheese. Or like accidentally taking someone else's car park despite them indicating for it first. Both of these were an accident, hopefully. Don't take people's car parks, dude. It's just that the former is a little bit more bloody and potentially life-altering. In fact, the odds of dying due to a shark attack or even just complications arising from a shark attack are incredibly low, even if some beaches in Australia have shark bite kits. More people die from puffer fish than sharks. Look at these things. Now look at these things. No, sharks are not mindless killing machines. In fact, they're quite curious and intelligent animals. They're not just gonna come up and numb away at a boat's propellers. Like, remember how I mentioned earlier you could punch a shark's nose? Well, scratch that idea. If you're close enough to punch a shark in the nose, mate, you're already too close. You are within snapping distance. Instead, go for the gills, because even if you land that punch, one punch is not gonna be enough to stun the beast. Also, have you tried punching underwater? That shit ain't ever gonna work. Sharks always have to be moving. This is not true. Benthics are pretty still most of the time. Some sharks, like the great white shark, do have to keep moving in order to live. Most sharks have buckle pumping as well as ram ventilation. A select few species do not. They lost their ability for buckle pumping, leaving them solely relying on ram ventilation, making them obligate ram ventilators. Think of it like an evolutionary buckle fat removal. It was the in thing 200 million years ago. All the shark celebs were doing it. Do you remember Lenny from Shark Tale? Well, he underwent the procedure. Didn't age well. This is why in those videos where you see people throwing sharks back into the sea or guiding them from the shore, they give movement to the throw or walk it in to start that ram ventilation process. Because if you throw a shark back into the ocean all willy-nilly and it doesn't get that ram ventilation, it's less likely it'll go back to swimming and it might just die. Now I have some good news. Your chances of being attacked by a shark? Low. Very low. Extremely low. In fact, so low that you're more likely to be killed by a lightning strike than a shark. It doesn't stop there. I don't just have good news, I have some fantastic news. If you really can't stand the idea of a shark and a potential shark attack, you can decrease that chance to 0%. You already know how. Don't swim in the ocean. Go to a pool. But that's only if you really have a phobia of sharks. In such cases, it's not unknown that some people, despite having rational brains, would still not swim in a swimming pool due to their fear of sharks. Some individuals are so deathly afraid of sharks that they won't even have baths. Brains are weird. You should know, you have one. I don't. I rely on research, really. A lot of secondhand accounts. Sharks get an unfair rap. As mentioned earlier, annually the death toll from shark attacks is about four. Compare that to the annual death count from mosquito bites. Per year, one million. Some sharks have been given many names, such as David, Bryce, Cassandra, and Bruce. But the most infamous name is the Great White. Take comfort in the fact that not only are we not their prey, but the usual prey, seals, feed them for longer than you'd think. 30 kilograms, or around 66 pounds of seal blubber, keeps a great wide satiated for a fortnight. They're not always eating. They got other shit to do, like swimming and mating. What does a shark do when it's time? In reality, we are the real danger. We are responsible for 100 million shark deaths per year, primarily due to greedy overfishing, with the big factor being shark fin soup, a cruel Asian delicacy which involves taking only the fin from a shark and disregarding the rest of the animal. Not only is it needlessly cruel, as without the fin, the sharks die, 
But it's pointless, as shark fin doesn't actually taste like anything. That's the kicker, it's primarily used for texture. Imagine if someone took your hands just so they could add a little bit of crunch to their porridge. Kinda sucks, right? Carl. Now, people with a genuine phobia of sharks, or even just a general fear, this is for you. How do we get over the fear of sharks? Here's the big one that everybody hates when it comes to overcoming any kind of fear. Exposure therapy. Jump in the deep end, whether it be going to a pool, the beach, or f it, literally jump in the deep end, go swimming with sharks, either in a cage or freely. Uh, sharks are most active in the afternoons and evenings, so maybe try these things out in the morning to ease into it. Maybe not the swimming with sharks one, because at that point it doesn't matter, you're in the end game then. Although technically every time you go swimming in the ocean, you are swimming with sharks and a lot of piss. Most people with a natural phobia, and I'm not just talking about the phobia of sharks here, most people know it's irrational. But that's kind of the point. Phobias are irrational. Techniques and steps must be put in place in order to desensitize people to the idea of being near or doing whatever their phobia may be. In this case, being near a shark. Get yourself a blow high. Pretty cute, right? Now look at this. Not so bad, right? Just don't look at this. Now. What do you do if you actually encounter a shark in the wild? It will be very hard, but you must try your best to remain calm. Take deep breaths, if close enough and coming in your direction, maintain eye contact and move very slowly, if at all. Most likely, the shark is just curious as to your presence and is investigating further to confirm whether or not you are actually an animal it preys on. Eye contact can lead the shark to believe you are the predator, I mean, by which all accounts we, we are, and it makes it less likely for you to register to the shark as prey. Too much movement can actually attract the shark further, due to an additional sense that they have, that being one which allows the use of their nose to sense electrical fields, fields which are generated by movement. Sharks typically attack from below, so you want to stay vertical with the shark. Instead of the age-old punch it in the nose, if you really must, go for the gills. If you have, say, your car keys on you, maybe they're in your swimmer pockets or whatever, use that to jab it in the gills. Maybe you're a little boy only armed with an umbrella. Use that umbrella, kid. Jab them in the gills. If you're swimming with a group, group up and stay together. Or if you're distant from your group, signal for help. Finally, as soon as possible, exit the water kind of a no-brainer. Whether it be onto land, a rock, or a boat, get out of the water. Hey, thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. Why I made this video. I don't know, I just wanted to spice my content up. Been thinking about sharks a lot because I like sharks, I guess. I'm becoming a shark guy. Listen fellas, I know you're jealous I don't think y'all ready for what I'm about to tell us The sharks are coming and they're chewing on propellers Nom nom nom, eat the boy with umbrellas That's a 24 25 3 tons of Eat you up, they're gonna eat you up, bitch They're gonna eat you up, they're gonna eat you up, bitch Bitch They're gonna Listen fellas, I know you're jealous I don't think y'all ready for what I'm about to tell us The sharks are coming and they're chewing on propellers Nom nom nom, eat the boy with umbrellas